Welcome to a short tutorial that explains how to set up your Pinterest account. To sign up for your Pinterest account, you can either sign up via Facebook, Twitter, or your email address. For this tutorial, we're going to use the email address option. Before we set up our account, we will need to create a password. Make sure you write down your password so you don't forget it. We are also going to provide helpful hints in setting up a strong password. To ensure your online safety, avoid simple and easy to guess passwords like your name 12 or Facebook 12345. And make sure your password does not include personal information like your birthday or driver's license number. Your password should be more complex. It should contain at least eight letters, numbers, and special characters like question marks, parentheses, or the dollar sign. The greater the variety of characters in your password, the better. Now that we know what makes a strong password, let's set up our account. To begin, enter the username you would like to use for your Pinterest account. Don't be alarmed if the username you would like is already taken. Just select a different username. Then select the email address that you would like your Pinterest updates to be sent to. Now create a password for your Pinterest account. Next, you will need to enter your first and last name. However, if you do not feel comfortable sharing your full name, you can choose a pseudonym. Your name appears on your home page and it can be used to search for you on Pinterest. Also, you can choose to select your gender or you can pass. This information is gathered for Pinterest's use. Before you click Create Account, it is important to read Pinterest's terms and policies for use before creating your account. It isn't a required part of the sign-up process, but it is important because this information explains how Pinterest will use your personal information. Then click Create Account. Immediately, you will receive a confirmation email that will be sent to your email address that you have provided. When you are done setting up your Pinterest account, you will need to confirm your account by logging into your email account and checking your email. The next step is creating your first board. Pinterest jumpstart the process by providing categories that may be of interest to you. If any of the categories interest you, you can click on them. For our example, we are going to choose something else. By selecting something else, we can create a name for our pin board. Since Digital Charlotte is the umbrella for all things related to digital and media literacy in Charlotte, we are going to title our first board Digital Literacy. This board will be the place to pin all things related to digital literacy, such as books to read, inspiring quotes, ideas to inform communities about digital literacy, and more. Once you have completed this step, click Create Board. Next, Pinterest asks you to follow at least five boards that inspire you. For this tutorial, we will look at the design category. As you can see, Pinterest populates the page with other people's and organizations' Pinterest boards. If you see something you like, you can click on the red button to follow them. By following a particular group, organization, or person, you will see their boards on your Pinterest homepage. There will be an example of this later on in the presentation. You have to select at least five boards before completing the setup process. You can always change these later. Once you have at least five boards, click Next in the upper right hand corner. You have now created your home page of your Pinterest board. This page houses all the organizations and people that you are following. If you go to your personal home page, this is where your inspiration is housed. The page houses your pins and what you have found of interest. If people follow you, then they will see your boards and pins here. Have fun searching Pinterest and being inspired by others. Happy pinning!